Welcome to the Friday, July 12, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, all eyes are on pork in the latest U.S. red meat production forecasts. And later, fresh 50s prices see a post 4th of July spike. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The National Pork Producers Council and its affiliate sent a letter to the House of Representatives urging lawmakers to pass the five-year farm bill. In fact, the council said it is so adamant to get the farm bill through Congress that it would support a statement of opposition if the nutrition title were split from the House version of the bill, a clause that was slipped into the letter unbeknownst to the council that they could say have derailed support of the letter altogether. You can see full coverage of the Port Council's Farm Bill letter and other news from the center of the plate by checking out foodmarket.com. We continue with news from the pork industry as pork is forecasted to majorly influence the overall U.S. red meat production in 2013 and 2014. Here is Ernerberry Pork Market reporter Russell Barton with more. According to the USDA's July 2013 World Agriculture Supply and Demand Estimates report, a reduction in fourth quarter hog slaughter will contribute to an all-around downturn in the 2013 red meat production forecast. However, record pigs per litter figures and expanded farrowings in the second half of 2013 are expected to drive both pork and overall red meat production higher in 2014. You can see the USDA's entire WASDE report and other pork market news by heading over to the red meat tab in Comto. Thanks, Russell. We conclude today's video with Erner Berry Beef Market reporter Bill Smith reporting on why fresh 50s prices have seen an atypical rise following the 4th of July. Tighter than expected supplies and active demand sent fresh 50 prices higher following the 4th of July, bucking a seasonal trend that typically sees a downturn in 50s prices following the Independence Day holiday. In fact, the abnormal post 4th <laughs> upward movement sent 50 prices soaring 111% compared to a year ago levels, as the market hit a 52-week high on July 10th, reaching $1.10 per pound, compared with a $0.52 cents per pound price record recorded the same time a year ago. This sharply higher post-holiday increase in fat trim values developed as buyers entered this week's market with limited inventory, waiting for a downturn in the market. However, this diminished buyer's negotiating power forced a situation where raw material availability trumped prices, resulting in the current market situation. You can follow the spike in fresh 50 market prices and other market news and analysis of the beef market by heading over to Red Meat tab in Comtel. Thanks, Bill. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.